Hey there, I'm Grillmeister Damon. And I am Lou Barbecue. Today we're going to make something really interesting, what we like to refer to as fusion barbecue around these parts in the valley. <laughs> uh, we're starting with a kofta kebab. It's a ground meat kebab that takes influences out of Turkish cuisine. Yep. And we've got a really cool side dish to go with it. Yes, so one of my favorite things to make is dirty rice. So we are going to incorporate this Louisiana style dirty rice. We're going to add some Greek stuff to it. We're going to add some kafta to it. We're, we're going to have so much fun. It's going to be good. <laughs> so let's 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 start with the dirty rice because this is going to take the longest. Main ingredients. Well, the, what do we call these? We call the, 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 the holy moly. The holy moly up north. Yeah, no, it's the holy trinity <laughs> <laughs> of any of any Cajun cooking. So yes. what goes in it? Peppers, onions, celery. Yes. Dice them up, cook them down. Awesome. And we got to get to them, so I'm going to yeah, pop yeah, them sorry, in, right? Sorry, here we go. So these are going on the Kamado grill in the back here. Yeah. We back. have a cast iron pan on the, uh, on the grill with a little bit of butter. Yep. Pop all of those ingredients inside. We need one more thing. Oh, wait. Wait, oh, wait, wait, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more? <laughs> what is it? It's the chicken liver. Chicken liver. All right, put them in there, Lou. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes this dish a dirty rice. It's always those little meat bits. Traditionally, it's going to be the chicken liver. And I'll tell you, if you're not a chicken liver fan, which I personally am not, just in general. Sad. I know. This is phenomenal. You'll change your outlook on chicken liver once you've eaten this dish. Right. Okay, so we pop them on the grill. Yep. Just need to get them up to temp, cook them down, mm -hmm. and then we're going into the rice. That's right. All right, so the chicken livers and the trinity are cooking down. Yep. Next step, Lou, what are we doing? We are going to add the rice, and we are going to give this rice a little bit of toast. Okay. I'm going to move these off to the side and let those continue to cook down. Yep. Make a little area for the rice. I love toasting rice, honestly. I mean, that's it's like a lot more flavor. It gives it a ton of flavor. All right, rice is toasted a little bit. We're gonna add some Croy Valley Southwest Barbecue Booster. Yep. Get it rock and rolling here, Lou. Okay, a little bit of booster in there. Maybe a lot of booster yeah, in there. Stingy. Don't be stingy with your boosters. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this in here. There we go. Some fun to add some stock. That sounds good. It does sound good, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's obviously going to allow the rice to cook down, become nice and tender. We'll wait for that to absorb all of the moisture. We're going to have an awesome dish here pretty yeah, soon, don't huh? Don't worry about measuring out your rice and your liquids. Just watch it. If you need to add a little more, add a little more. Lou never measures out anything. No, that's why terrible nor do, nor do I, exactly. If I was baking, I'd be all over yeah. the, the teaspoons and tablespoons. But this is cooking. This, this isn't is baking. Is Feel rice. it. Feel the food, right? Like, Let get into it. You. Let it guide you. If you need more stock, add more stock. If it gets a little too soupy, add more rice. rice we're just going to give it a quick stir. We'll check this out, see where we're at here. Everything's bubbling away, which is awesome. But you can see how it's thickening up. When you first poured in all of the... Uh, all of the chicken stock kind of looked like this was going to be a soupy mess, but to be honest, it's starting to evaporate here, and I think a lot of the rice is um, soaking up the liquid. So maybe maybe a few more minutes, and then uh, it's on to kebab land. Kafta. Kafta kebab land. I think it's time that we move to the next step. What is the next step? Well, first of all, let's get the rice off of the grill, right? <laughs> We've checked it. We've checked it. It's uh, soaked up all of the liquid, which is great. The rice is tender. That's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna grab that and pop that off. Let's set it. Let's set it right here. Right here. Right here. We got a big old cutting board. It's all good, right? Yeah. We'll leave it right there. Okay. So we'll let that kind of cool down. I don't like to eat super hot food. No, no. Let's get on to that kofta kebab. Lou. Yeah, what are we yeah, doing? Yeah. So we've got uh, ground lamb. Okay. And I'm gonna add some garlic booster to it just because I love it so much. And I like a little bit of crusty bread to go along with my uh, dish. So just for funsies, we're going to add some garlic toast to the side. There you go. So you probably want some garlic booster. I, I, I do happen want. to have some. Excellent, because I go. like that a lot. All right, so making these kebabs, these are so simple. I mean, it's just meat, add some, some seasoning to it, take a nice long skewer, and you're just going to work that meat right under the skewer, make tube of meat on the skewer. 
a meat tube. Meat tube on the skewer, yeah. Think softened hot. butter, by the way. Croy Valley Garlic Barbecue Booster. This is the best spread to make any sort of garlic, bar, garlic bread or buns or anything else you're toasting up. Just mix a little of that together, put it right on your bread. It's gonna be amazing. All right. Bread, rice, tube of meat. We are in good shape here. We are in good shape. So the bread and the kebabs are roughly gonna cook right around the same time. This is gonna be a lot of kind of open air grilling, not necessarily a ton of time with the lid closed, so we have to watch these things. One treatment we're gonna give to the kebabs is to put on our Croy Valley Greek barbecue booster. Again, infusing more flavor, getting a little bit of, of that Mediterranean influence in there. And my secret weapon for all meat grilling that I ever do is to use some spray oil because that's gonna to help to prevent the meat from sticking to the grates. So that would that would not be great. It would. But um bum It all would day. not be great. Yeah, tip your waiters. Yes, Lou Barbecue Holter. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So is th this simple, okay? A little bit of uh, booster, a little bit of spray oil. I'm outdoors. If you were inside, you might want to cover something. Don't spray the floor; you'll fall down. And we pop them right on the grill. First one's on. Let's keep her going. There we go, that Greek booster again. A little bit of spray oil. Right on the grill they go. I do not want to cross contaminate. I was just touching the raw lamb. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bread simply with my hands here and get that toasting away as well. Now check the bread here. It's getting kind of toasty. That looks nice, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking beautiful. So that didn't take very long. We'll just turn these uh, skewers a couple of times here. Get it nice and golden brown on the outside. It's a little bit of char. How long do you think that's gonna take? Well, maybe another two or three minutes tops. Yeah, really, it doesn't take that long. It depends upon the thickness of the kebab, certainly. And uh, we've got some nice bread to go along with it. One of the other things that I want to add at the very end, just because this is one of my favorite products, it's one of the original items that we ever did, was the Croy Valley Garlic and Herb Sauce and Marinade. It pairs really beautifully with all of the other flavors that we've got going on here because there's yep. rosemary, there's oregano, there's garlic. So it's not going to be not going to be flavors fighting against each other. And again, with this dish, we're kind of looking for a fusion of flavors. Really take it to another level. It's not just a one note sort of thing, yeah, right? Sauce is a great way to just kind of pull the whole dish together. You have that sauce drizzle on the rice, put it on top of the kebabs, the kofta. It, it really just ties it all together. All right, Lou, I think they're uh, done. Awesome. They look great. They do look great. You want, Let's dish them up. Why don't we put some of the uh, rice on the plate there and I'll bring them on over for you. All right. Sounds good. These look, they smell, they smell so delicious. They really do. These are great. All right. So recap here. What do we got? What's the rice? Got a nice dirty rice here with the uh, Southwest Booster in it. Okay. Tell us about the kebabs. Kebabs, it's a uh, lamb kebab, also has the garlic booster in it, and then it has the Greek booster on top. Yeah. And we're gonna do a little finishing drizzle on these, aren't we, to make them all delicious? I just wanna eat. I, know I just you wanna, wanna eat. eat. But we gotta <laughs> hit them with the garlic and herb there, baby. Yeah, a little garlic and herb on there. That's gonna finish off that dish. And one last thing is our. Delicious crusty bread made with butter and Croy Valley garlic booster it is my favorite way to make a garlic bread. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but we're just going to shove them on in here. We always make too much food. Well, you know what? How about we just set them on the side? There you go. Just throw them there. There you go. We're just setting them on the side. Ta -da. All right, guys, there you go. It is a dirty rice dish infused with Croy Valley flavors, our Greek interpretation. Yep of a Coptic kebab, and it's just full of flavor. It's yeah. full of flavor, it's full of all sorts of Croy Valley products. Seriously, check out the recipe online and a whole lot of other videos, recipes, tips and tricks at croyvalleyfoods.com. I hope you learned something today. I hope you stick around, check out our products, and as always, we'll see you around the grill. All right, Damon, let's Perfect. eat.